here. I am a Life Scout with Troop 2176 in Arvada. And I started my scouting journey when I was just nine years old, when my brother first joined Cub Scouts. And yeah, if you would go ahead and move your mask. So oh, Michelle yeah, can. so Michelle can understand me. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I started my scouting journey when I was just nine years old, when my brother started uh, Cub Scouts. And I would go to every meeting, event, and activity with my dad and my brother, just wishing that I could participate. Um, I, that continued for years, going to every Pinewood Derby and every Rangata Regatta. I remember feeling left out every time that my dad and my brother would go on a camp out. About a month before my 14th birthday, I learned about venturing. Venturing is a program with NBSA for boys and girls ages 14 through 21. I was ecstatic to finally get to participate in a similar activity to my brother. I was able to go camping, learn shooting sports, and wear a uniform. I was always jealous of my brother's uniforms. The first overnight activity that I ever did was the National Youth Leadership Training, or NYL team, and it changed my life. I know that it sounds a little crazy that one week up in the mountains can change your life, but it really did. I went to that week shy, terrified, and crying. My boyfriend at the time told me that it would be great, and he handed me this washer and this penny for good luck. That week, I learned leadership skills, cooking skills, camping skills, and presentation skills. By the end of the week, we needed a senior patrol leader for our overnight excursion. The next thing I knew, my patrol had nominated me, and I um, made a speech and was voted to be senior patrol leader. When my parents picked me up the next day, they were surprised to see how confident and outgoing I had become. I keep this washer and penny in my pocket to remind myself that whenever I am struggling, I can think of that week. And no matter how hard something is, that you'll always come out stronger. I wouldn't be who I am today if I, hadn't, if I had backed out of going to the NYLT training. After NYLT, I continued to participate in my venturing crew and going to activities, events, and campouts, but I wanted more. I wanted to be able to do merit badges and go on more campouts. So when I learned that in February of 2019 that females were gonna be able to join Boy Scouts, I was ecstatic. I started to work with my dad, one of my crew advisors, and one of my best friends to start a female troop and pair with Troop 21. My dad, and me, and my friend Elena started Troop 2176 in February of 2019. We only started with about five girls, but since then we have grown to be one of the biggest female troops in the area. We continued to grow and started to go on more and more campouts and events. By the end of the year, we were a fully functioning and individual troop. In the last year and a half, I have continued to advance throughout the ranks, from scout, Tenderfoot, second class, first class, star, and all the way to Life Scout. My ultimate goal is to be in the first class of female Eagle Scouts. To become an Eagle Scout, as a Life Scout, you need to have completed 21 merit badges, be a Life Scout for six months, a couple of their requirements, and to complete a project that shows leadership and community impact. What I did for my project is this August, I worked with a nonprofit in downtown called Family Promise of Greater Denver. What they do is they work with families who are experiencing homelessness and they house them for 60 days. After those 60 days, they have an 86% success rate of those families leaving with permanent housing. They then work with those families to make sure that they stay in permanent housing and provide them with anything that they need. So what I did is I ran a day camp for six kids so that they could have some time out of hotels. They typically go and stay in churches but due to COVID, they're having to stay in hotels currently. And I wanted to be able to get them out of their hotels and doing something fun. So we did some activities and crafts and lunch for six days. I also prepared 60 back, not 60, 30 backpacks for ages zero through 19 with, for the kids that had coloring books, books, um, colored pencils, um, games, and stuffed animals. This is one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my life, but it was also one of the most rewarding. As of right now, I will be able to have my board of review for my Eagle Scout at the end of October. I have done some other things in scouting, such as getting trained in wilderness first aid, being chosen to staff in YLT, and being chosen to staff for We Blows Weekend. All of these experiences have been absolutely fundamentally changing to who I am today. 
I'm so grateful to be a part of such an amazing community, and I have been able to help bring many other females into this amazing community. I'm never gonna stop scouting, not only because I love it, but because I wanna be that female role model that I didn't have growing up in scouting. Truly, scouting has changed my life. Please consider making a donation to support scouts like me in Jefferson County. Thank you and have a good evening. Thank you.